Day four, PDAC 2023, and I've just met Scott McLean. How are you today? Very good, nice to meet you. The first question he asked me is, remember your transition medals from 11th grade chemistry? And of course, no, I don't remember. Scott, what are the transition medals? Well, you're asking about the name of the company, and the name of the company is Transition Metals, and if you remember your grade 11 chemistry, which apparently you don't, it's a group of, uh, a group of metals on the periodic table, and actually it includes all the different pay metals that we, we actually explore for and came up with the name back in 2009 when we for formed the company and it's, uh, it's resonated. So Scott, right now there's a lot of planes on the tarmac trying to get investors attention. Yeah. Can you tell me a couple of reasons, maybe your three top reasons why transition metals should be on my research desk for tomorrow? Sure, so transition metals has a number of projects across Canada. We are in seven different jurisdictions, 20 different projects, so we've got a, a good pipeline of projects to, uh, to, uh, to advance and look for partners for. However, we're focused on a couple of key projects. One is called Mod Lake and it's a new nickel discovery where we've got 20 meter intersections of good magmatic sulfides. And the other one is the form you have over there, which is Pike Warden, and that's a brand new uh, epithermal system in the Yukon. Both of these are produced, we've drilled that, we're the first people to drill that project and we have Bonanza Silver Grades, over 20 meters of uh, 100 gram material um, on that project. So they're really two exciting projects with a good pipeline of, of uh, additional projects coming in behind those. We've got some good partners. This company has been around since 2009 and it only has 57 million shares outstanding. All right, so what I'm hearing is we have a pipeline uh, projects and then you've highlighted two. You've picked your two favorites, is that it? That's correct. The ones we want to advance ourselves and uh, take them to the next level, uh, give shareholders a chance to be rewarded with the discovery or be able to leverage up our investment and bring a partner in at a higher level. And one of your competitive uh, reasons for looking at transition metals you mentioned was only 57 million shares outstanding. What kind of cash do you have in the bank? Right now we have about a million dollars. Our burn rate's about 50,000 uh, a, uh, a month. And uh, we have a big pot of marketable securities, however, about $5 million in marketable securities. So that's how we often fund the company, is we sell our marketable securities into the market, bring revenue into the company that way, rather than having to go out and dilute the shareholders and, 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 uh, through a, an equity financing. Okay, well that sounds very exciting. What should we as potential shareholders anticipate in this upcoming quarter? Coming quarter, we're going to kind of focus on our two uh, flagship projects. The Mod Lake project, we plan to get our program put together for early spring, hopefully be drilling that by, by late spring, and be back up into the Yukon working on our Pike Warden project in early summer with a plan to hopefully get the drill started up there and, and towards the end of the summer. Uh, that will produce a nice news flow for our investors and hopefully some, bring some excitement to the stock. Okay, well that's Scott McLean from Transition Metals. Thank you so much, Scott. Thank you for having me.